Uh, my name is Reverend Dr. Victor Allen Brown, and welcome to all of the press and all of you assembled. Uh, it is my privilege to be joined today by uh, colleagues cross-denominationally. We've come tonight, uh, you will see behind us is the, is the backdrop of the Statue of Liberty, which uh, represents the, the open arms to all people to become a part of America with all of its beauty and splendor. It was Emma Lazarus who, who captured it when she put pen to paper and, and wrote, wrote the poignant words, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to be free. We're here today because we want to make a statement as it relates to the need for comprehensive health care reform, and we prepared a statement that we're going to offer at this time. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once observed that of all the forms of in of inequality, injustice in health care is the most shocking and inhumane. The religious leaders of the borough of Staten Island affirm that health care is a basic human right that should be afforded to all people regardless of their social, economic, or legal status. We affirm that every person is created in the image and likeness of God and has a right to life and to those things necessary to sustain life, including affordable, quality health care. This affirmation is rooted in the teachings of our respective faith traditions. We acknowledge that here on Staten Island, more than 50,000 of our neighbors live and work without health care. We advocate for the reform of our current health care system. According to a study released by the World Health Organization, the United States is the only country in the developed world, with the exception of South Africa, that does not provide health care for all of its citizens. That same study determined that though the United States pays twice the average cost for health care coverage, it ranks 27th out of 28 countries with respect to average life expectancy. Without question, this nation is in dire need of comprehensive health care reform. We are advocating a reform that will provide for health care coverage for all of our Staten Island neighbors in need and the more than 10 million uninsured persons throughout our nation. We urge that such health care reform legislation be based on the following affirmations and we'll share them with you at this time. We believe that any health care reform should have a universal provision based on the respect and dignity of all human life. We believe that such health care reform should provide universal access to health care. And we affirm the pursuit of the common good while preserving pluralism, including the freedom of conscience and a variety of health care options. We affirm that comprehensive health care should, health care reform should be inclusive of coverage of pre-existing conditions and preserve the current Medicare coverage that sustains the health and quality of life of our senior citizens. We affirm the need for a public option for health care for the working poor and those currently uninsured. We urge our congressional representatives to consider these principles in their deliberations and voting on the issue of national health care reform. Uh, just to mention the groups who have uh, worked on this or have endorsed this today, uh, Monsignor James Dorney, who is the co-vicar of the Staten Island Catholic Vicariate, Staten Island Council of Churches, the Staten Island Clergy Leadership, Rabbi Jerry Sussman, President of the Staten Island Rabbinical Association, the Unitarian Church of Staten Island, Trinity Lutheran Church, Mount Sinai United Christian Church, uh, the uh, Religious Society of Friends, Quakers of Staten Island, uh, the Staten Island Sisters of the Congregation of Notre Dame, Presentation Sisters of Staten Island, the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Am I missing anybody? Any, any, questions? any questions? Any questions for the press? So you're all, all in favor of the public option that's being put out now in terms of health care? I think it's fair to say we're in, in favor of a public option. We're not commenting on specific legislation. 
consideration as a principle, consideration of a public option. And I think what we're trying to uh, assert is is that comprehensive health care reform should not be considered, considered a benefit. It is a right that should be enjoyed by all citizens. And what is what would be most unfortunate is if health care reform is allowed to be, the need for health care reform is allowed to be crucified on the cross of political gamesmanship. And unfortunately, it is an issue that has been politicized to the point that there are many gross misnomers about what Washington is, is trying to do. And I just want to clarify that New York State currently has a public option and has had a public option for seven years. It's called Family Health Plus. And in the last seven years, 26,000 Staten Island families have registered for Family Health Plus. So there is a viable public option in the state of New York, and we have not collapsed the economy because of it.